We would like to share with you today how the world was transformed by Michael Faraday, a man who truly accessed the full potential of his genius. You may not know this, but he helped set the foundation of today's modern world. This presentation was brought to you by Abdullah al Humsi, Bikram Jatana, Daniel Schmidt, Lauren Vachi, and inspired wisdom of Jeff Dunphy. For those of you who are unfamiliar with the apparatus shown here, you're looking at an induction coil. It is one of the most brilliant discoveries of Michael Faraday's life. Essentially, it is the first electric transformer. And today, we would like to share with you how Faraday not only transformed the potential from one coil to other in this device, but he transformed the potential of the world. In modern day London, 1791, just like the very first loop of his, this coil, the ups and downs and all around just began in the life of Michael Faraday. He was raised in a very poor and humble family of 10 children. His father worked with his hands as a blacksmith and Faraday in the working class had few opportunities for formal education. On the surface, you may not expect these circumstances to produce one of the most influential scientists of all time, but on the contrary, this contest helped for the character and values that made Faraday who he was. At age 13, he began working as an apprentice, bookbinder where he read many scientific books, this experience was his education, unconventional and based on self-initiative and curiosity. At the age of 20, he found himself a way to attend lectures by chemists Humphrey Davy and John Tatum of the Royal Institution. Illustrating his eagerness to learn, he sent Humphrey Davy a 300-page bound copy of his own lecture notes and drawings. That initiative led him on the path to be employed by Davy as a secretary. Two years later, he was appointed as a chemical assistant at Royal Institution where he began his path to greatness. Eighteen twenty one was a big year for Faraday. He got married to Sarah Bernard and he discovered electromagnetic rotation, the foundation of electric motor. Also in this year, true to his nature, he refused to help British government produce chemical weapons for the Crimean War. Changing speed, Faraday developed a lecture series in order to explain basic scientific principles. He was on a mission, spent the next few years serving the public as a passionate and entertaining lecturer. In 1831 came Faraday's most important discovery, the concept of electromagnetic induction, which is the most fundamental concept in electrical generation. In 1840, Faraday's health started deteriorating, which led to him withdrawing a bit from research. His true humble nature was shown when he declined the honor of being buried in Westminster Abbey next to Isaac Newton, but declined and instead just a plaque was put near Newton's grave in memorial. So the big question is, what was it about Michael Faraday that allowed him to access his genius or tap into his wisdom of masters who had gone before him? What did he do or what was in his character that made him stand out and realize the potential that was his? Having been raised in poverty, Michael Faraday understood how essential hard work was. However, he did not allow the hard realities of his life caused him to focus merely on the survival. Although he received only the basic of formal education, he showed self-reliance in becoming self-educated by reading the books that he was fortunate enough to have made available to him. 
As his desire to study science grew, he persistently sought the opportunity to make this a reality. This paid off, and he was eventually able to work under and learn from the brilliant chemist, Sir Humphrey Davy. This opportunity wasn't wasted on Faraday, and he was humble enough to start at the bottom and learn as much as he could on the way up. But this wasn't all. Faraday seemed to be gifted with an enhanced ability to visualize. Isaac Asimov, famous science fiction writer and professor of biochemistry, had some valuable insight to offer about Michael Faraday's way of thinking. Faraday was perhaps the greatest electrical innovator and greatest scientist of all time, and his intuition was of a first-class genius. Despite the fact that he was completely innocent of mathematics, non-conventional education helped him. Even more interesting are the words of James Clark Maxwell, the man who translated Faraday's work on electric field and magnetism into mathematical form. Faraday's methods resemble those in which we begin with the whole world and arrive at the part by analysis. While the ordinary mathematical methods were founded on the principle of beginning with the parts and building up the whole by synthesis, Faraday in his mind's eye saw lines of forces traveling all spaces where the mathematicians saw centers of the force attracting at a distance. Faraday saw a medium where they saw nothing but distance. We see this ability to visualize as an important ability in other geniuses such as Nikola Tesla. As well, his pattern of working from whole to part showed Faraday ability to be able to see the big picture, which is huge. This is because it allows one to put things into better perspective and obtain valuable insight. As a result of his lack of formal education, Michael Faraday was not rigidly bound by the thinking of his day and really valued freedom of thought and discussion. Instead of simply theorizing, he chose to allow the results of his many experiments to guide his thinking and imagination. In his own words, without experiment, I'm nothing. And the less one theorizes, the less one involves prejudices and controversies. The man who wishes to advance in understanding of nature should never fix such absolutes in his way. I am more concerned that my ideas will be ignored than they be examined, discussed, tested, and found wanting of truth. An example of view which he held that was kind of out there is shown in the introduction to one of his lectures on chemistry. Assuming heat and similar subjects to be matter, we shall then have a very marked division of all the varieties of substance into two classes. One of these will contain ponderable and other imponderable matter. The great source of imponderable matter, and that supplies all varieties, is the sun, whose office it appears to be shed the subtle principle over our system. Next, we see some ways in which Michael Faraday realized his potential to the benefit of mankind and inspired future individuals in their own labor to serve humanity through the magic of science. Faraday's experiments covered wide varieties of scientific subjects, which led to some of the most essential discoveries ever made in the evolution of electricity. Referring to the ring in the diagram of the electric transformer, the magnetic field that is induced by the electric current represent the propagation of technology and the inspiration to motivate future technologists. In 1821, Faraday invented the electromagnetic rotation, which led to the development of principle of electric motor. This invention was inspired by Hans Christian Orsted, a Danish inventor, who in the past demonstrated the connection of the magnetic phenomena and electricity. This experiment consisted of a wire that extended to a mercury pool and a magnet at the middle of the pool. When the current flowed through the wire, the wire started to rotate in a circular motion due to the magnetic force 
Unfortunately, this invention brought many publishing controversies, such as forgetting to acknowledge people that inspired him in his research that caused Faraday to withdraw for several years from any further research in this field. In spite of his disappearance from scientific community, Faraday made a huge comeback in 1831. Through his discovery of electromagnetic induction, this was the most important invention of Faraday's life. It allowed electricity to be transformed from a curiosity into a powerful new technology. It was based on a ring made of coiled wires. He observed that when a magnet or an electric wire passed through the ring, it causes a change in voltage in the coil wire. The result of this experiment laid the crucial foundation and the basic principle of an electric transformer. Faraday's case was an important invention which dramatically increased the safety of electricity usage. It was made out of conducting material that contained static and non-static electrical charges. The functionality of the system is to act as a charge distributor that cancels the electric charges within the cage and to keep the charge only on the external part of the cage. Faraday laid the foundation of electromagnetic field theory that inspired many scientists to this day. He was the catalyst for making a fundamental shift in our view of the world and science before his time. He was the dawn of the age of electricity. So you might be wondering, who were these scientists he inspired? One of the scientists he inspired was Maxwell. Maxwell attended lectures delivered by Faraday, and later he used Faraday's theories and concepts to develop fundamental laws of electromagnetism in mathematical terms. These laws became the foundation of electrical engineering. Another scientist who was mainly known for his light bulb invention was Thomas Edison. Edison built upon the concept developed by Michael Faraday. Edison improved and came up with the principal application of Faraday's generator concept by implementing steam engine and large magnets to improve efficiency of the generator. It was that later Edison went on to invent the light bulb that was powered by a generator. Nikola Tesla, known as one of the greatest inventors of all time, also known by some as a wizard, Tesla is mainly known for his invention of AC generator, but it was Faraday's DC generator that inspired Tesla. Tesla built upon work of Faraday in many different applications. Tesla played a crucial role in implementing today's electricity grid. Transmission of power through this grid would not have been possible if he didn't have the transformer to transfer electricity from one voltage to other. Transformers play a crucial role in transmission of electricity from one place to other. If we take a look at a big picture, the legacy of Faraday's theories and concepts was continued by scientists whom he inspired that has led to shaping our modern society. He did the groundwork to invent electric motors, generators, and transformers. Generator alone is one of the single most important invention in electrical engineering that helped us power our world, take the world from darkness and light it up. It's the generator that transfer the power from coal, oil, wood, wind, and other products to electricity that is delivered to the consumer. If we didn't have a generator, we wouldn't have had a source to power electronics or the manufacturing facilities in the world. Electric motor is one of the most commonly used product in the market. A motor is used in any product you can think of. If it's not used directly in the product, then it might be getting used in manufacturing of that product. The application of a motor are endless. Some of the app examples of application of motor will be automobiles, fans, clocks, airplanes, pumps, vacuum cleaner, and many more. Faraday cage concept developed by Faraday 
is part of what people use every day. The concept you use in microwaves, generators, anything that provides a shield from electromagnetic forces. And many radio frequencies generating devices are protected by Faraday cage to prevent electromagnetic interference. In 1832, Faraday expanded his scientific experiment beyond physics by his contribution in chemistry. He established the basic foundation of law of electrolysis, which states the elements quantities separate by passing an electric current in a salted water. Furthermore, Michael Faraday was responsible for publishing many scientific terminologies such as anode, cathode, electrode, and ion. And he is the founder of many liquefied gases such as benzene and chlorine. His contribution to electrochemical field is not discussed commonly, but they do not go to waste. Benzene has become common carbon product that is used in production of many different products. It's most widely used in plastic manufacturing and also used in synthetic rubber, nylon, pharmaceutical drugs, and some explosives. Another chemical product developed by Faraday was ammonia which has served humanity as it's commonly used in fertilizers, antimicrobial agents for food storage, and also used in aviation industry as a rocket fuel. Hey, guess what? Faraday invented the first rubber balloon. Can you believe that? Faraday's contributions can be seen in every part of modern society. Like every other invention, his theories can be used for both good and bad. Direct application of inventions are now visible, but indirect application can easily be seen. We already discussed many applications where his contribution to science can be used for good, but if the information gets into wrong hands, it can be used for evil work. Some of his chemicals are used to make explosives. Also, benzene is found to be harmful to humans, but is still used on a regular basis in making plastic. Motors are used in aviation industry, which has many military applications such as motor-driven military-grade UAVs. Generators are used to generate power from fossil fuels have adverse effect on the environment. Power generation through these fossil fuels account for majority of the carbon dioxide emission in the world, which contributes to global warming. It just becomes a matter of deciding what is higher priority, ways of life versus potential for illness.